coming up on WAD TV, Season 11, Episode 2. All the action from the grade 3 and 5 track and field. We find out the 2015 Handle Award winners. Fred and Chris go to the And our reminders for the week. Hi, I'm Tatiana. I'm El. And I'm Jack. Welcome to WAD TV. On the Thursday before the holidays, the elementary school held its first track and field day. That's right. I was in Metal House. What about you, Jack? Oh, I was in Earth. Um, Jack, you still have paint in your face. Yeah, I wasn't going to take it off. Go Team Earth! Anyways, Wab TV cameras were on hand to check out all the action. Wait a minute. Weren't all the Wab TV crew competing in the event? Yeah, so? Well, then how did we get all the clips? Good question. While we think about that, here's some highlights. Last Thursday, grade 3, 4, and 5 had a great and awesome sports day. Lab TV went to check it out. One of the activities were javelin. There was also a 400 meter race. And there was the epic long jump. And of course, there was a tug of war. Day we will never forget. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Looks like everyone had a great day. I know I did. Hey, I've been thinking. I recall Mr. T and Mr. Collar used the webcopter to film the sports day for us. Nah, they only have one of those and it's rare, rarely let out of its cage. I reckon it was a bunch of specially designed robots. Yeah, right. Like that could ever happen. Whoa. For the last few months, students from many different countries have been voting on their favorite panda books. The winners have finally been announced. Holly, Federica, and Angela went to ask Mr. Burt all about it. Hey, haven't they chosen the panda book winners yet? I don't know, let's go find out. Oh. Hi, Mr. Hi, Bird. Can we ask you a few questions about the panda books? Hi, girls, sure. Come and have a seat. So, which panda books won? Okay, so you want to know which Panda Books won. Now, every, all this information, if you go to blogs.wab.edu slash eslibrary, we have all the info here. So if I scroll down, Panda Book Awards announced the winners. It was really cool because my favourite book actually won. Out of 44 schools around China and a couple in Europe because they really like it, so they got on board. And how many, stu 3,100 students and teachers voted. And the best younger book was The Day the Crayons Quit. My favorite, and that won it. Quit. Can we see the next year panda books? <gasps> Good question. Answer? Yes, sort of. Uh, on the blog, the library blog, I'll put up this page, which is you can actually nominate the you know the eight or ten books in each category that you think should be on next year's panda list. You okay? So yeah, you vote, and they'll be announced pretty soon, I think. Yeah, sure, the living pen writing competition. Kelly Milner Hall's the author who was here. She read them all, and she came up with a winner in each category from KG up to grade five. And again, on the blog, that's the latest post. Okay. Thanks for your time, Mr. Burn. No Let worries. That's okay. See you, pandas. Bye bye, pandas. Well, at least no one got turned into a panda this time. You had to say it, didn't you? Bamboo. I knew those crazy cramps would win. Me too. Hey, Elma, do you remember our Web TV, fr Web TV friends, Fred and Frida? Of course. I heard they really like taking photos. Yup. Here they are with some of their amazing photos. 
Sorry, what? What? What was that? Oh no, not again. What's wrong, Jack? Um, you're not gonna believe this. Fred and Frida have been kidnapped. <gasps> what? By who? Why? Oh no! Here's Mitsuki, Mia, and Wilson to update us on this evolving situation. Fred and Frida were outside taking photos in the secret garden and then they got kidnapped. WAP TV offers a reward for their safe return. We have this one last photo before they were missing. If you find Fred and Frida, return them to WAP TV. Oh, I hope Fred and Frida are found safe and sound. Please, we need your help to find them. Now it's time for this week's reminders. It's a big sports week this week. Great Three Olympic Dream Series table tennis will be on at lunchtime this week. Isaac Cus Country Training will also be on at lunch. For grade four and five students, Olympic Dream Series hurdles will be on Thursday and Friday. Finally, this week we'll leave you with a mini flashback to the Grade Five Poetry Film Festival. Here's two films from from former Web TV crew members, Anna and Helene. Remember, if you find or make a brilliant video that you think deserves a feature spot, email us at wabtv at es.wab.edu. Until next week, I'm Tatiana. I'm Jack. And I'm Alma. And you've just watched Season 11, Episode 2 of Wab TV. When the final bell on Friday rings, it sounds like a bomb of cheers, the roar of a dinosaur and the screech of a train. When the final bell on Friday rings, it feels like a busy subway in Beijing, crammed into a little cupboard, and a packed soccer stadium. When the final bell on Friday rings, it looks like a traffic jam backed up to the end of time, a horse race charging for a door, and a rock concert. After the final bell on Friday has rung, just wait five minutes and everything is calm. When I am determined, I am a small, dark box, motivated by pressure, closing everything that surrounds me. Spotlight on my work. When I am determined, I am in a tunnel. The need to move forward. The need to keep going. When I am determined. I am like an hourglass, running out of time. Getting more focused. Wait till all the ideas come out. And I am determined. I'm like a spider making its web. I'm focused on the need to feed, to feel the fire, to keep myself going. When I am determined, I'm like an express train, top speed, no stops, on one track in one direction. When I am determined.